freaking believe this beach casa i am in love with it and i'm sorry that i have been away for so long first of all happy 2021 i am so stoked to put 2020 behind me as i'm sure a lot of you are i'm aware that a lot of you in the northern hemisphere are in winter so i apologize for that in advance and i hope you enjoy that i can bring you a bit of sunshine I hope you enjoyed seeing Oki. He has been gallivanting around all summer, and I'm sorry I've been a little bit selfish. I've kept him to myself a lot. If you follow me on Instagram, then you'll have seen some stories of Oki playing around in the surf and generally just exploring. However, we really took some time away from the camera and away from social media in general. I say we, Oki is pretty good with staying off his phone and things like that, but I took some time away and really I think it's been the best thing for me. They say that time heals all wounds and when you're in the midst of a situation where you're not feeling good and you think your life's been completely turned upside down, sometimes it's hard to believe that things are going to get better, but the difference in my mindset and how I feel from January last year to January this year is ginormous. Like, I am feeling so positive about everything and there's so much going on for me and, you know, things are really starting to look up in Australia and in the world in general. Today's video is going to be a super simple one. I kind of just wanted to talk about what it's been like moving into the van because I've been in here for a couple of months now and obviously I've spent a couple of years in my last van. However, that was very different because I was with Lee, so I was with another person, whereas now I am solo van lifing with Oki. <laughs> Sorry, but... And it's been really quite an interesting couple of months. I want to run you through some of the things that I've loved and some of the things that are a little bit harder and also just things that in general with this van because the last time a lot of you saw it, I'd pretty much just finished building it out. Well, almost finished. As you can see, there's still some, still some bits that need that need refining. However, it is 99% done. I'm absolutely loving it. Let's start with that. I'll take you through some of the features that are working out really well. Number one, and by far the biggest, is the shower. I think not having a shower in the last van, I just didn't really realize what I was missing out on. And also having the full size toilet as well. To be able to get out of the ocean and be all sandy and jump in a hot shower and wash off all your sandy board shorts, wetsuit and everything. And then I've also gone a bit crazy on the hooks in here. So I've got all hanging hooks. As you can see, my boardies are drying from this morning and everything fully dries in there. So I just leave it for probably the day, wait for it to dry, and then I can put it back with the rest of my clothes. Not only is that absolutely clutch, but it keeps any moisture from getting in the rest of my van. It is all contained to that shower area. An added bonus, which I didn't really think of until having Oki in the van, is that I keep his food bowl and his water bowl in the shower cubicle. And that way, if any water spills while I'm driving, or if Oki spills any, it just just goes into that wet area and it keeps my floorboards nice and dry. You can see Oki has managed to bring in half the beach with him 
But the good thing about having such a small space is I can sweep it all out in about a minute. As for my second favorite thing in the van, I don't think this will surprise anyone, but it has been the skylight. It makes such a huge difference for natural light coming in the van. But where I underestimated it is how much breeze it brings in and hot air it lets out. So you, as a lot of you know, I installed two ceiling fans and with those acting, one's on suck, one's on blow. So it makes a bit of a wind tunnel so air moves through and combine that with the skylight and the open windows. I've been in here with the van, all the doors shut and locked up. It was 40 degrees outside and it was only 30 degrees in the van. So 10 degrees cooler, despite the fact that it was sitting out in the sun. That's insane. And it also shows how much it's worth to put in good insulation and yeah, plenty of ventilation as well. Very important for Signor Oki. I feel like I could go on about things I'm loving about this van for ages. So I think I might save a lot of that for the official van tour, which I'm going to do once I do all the finishing touches. Now, as for living in the van solo, as opposed to living with a partner, in the two months that I've done it so far, it's been so different. It actually is really different. And my hat goes off to people that have done it for a long time. I think I'm getting more and more into the groove of it. At first, it takes you a bit to get used to because all the basic things like making the bed, cooking the food every time, washing the dishes every time, but sourcing the food, sourcing petrol, sourcing water, sourcing where to camp, all of those things just all of a sudden go purely onto you rather than sharing the load. So it's just things like that that make it a lot trickier. Also, there's the obvious point, you just don't have that other person to talk to. Oki is a really good listener, but he's not so good when it comes to actually making conversation. However, I still find that I'm talking to him a little bit. But the positives of being on my own have been kind of unexpected and really good. For starters, I'm really setting my own schedule, so I'm getting up a lot earlier and I'm going to bed earlier just to allow me to spend more out of the day. And with that, I'm surfing pretty much every day. Surf is something that if you surf and your partner doesn't, you can feel a little bit guilty if you spend too much time in the water. Whereas now, Oki loves spending time on the beach whilst I surf, so it's been a really good team between him and I. And I'm hoping, yeah, to just keep that routine up of surfing almost every day because I find it, not only is it so good for me physically, but I also think mentally surfing is really, really good for me and gives you that chance to fully switch off from any technology. Other advantages I've found is that I'm meeting a lot more people. It's forced me to be a bit more extroverted. When I'm parked somewhere, I go and say good day to other van lifers because I just want to have that chat and make some new friends, especially because I'm new to the area. So I've even, some people that have messaged me on Instagram, I've met up with and I've already become good friends with a few of them. And yeah, I want to still be open to meeting new people. I definitely don't plan on being solo in the van forever, but at the moment I'm kind of quite enjoying it and I want to take advantage of this experience and, you know, really get the most out of it. I've got, as I said, a few other things going on. I've actually just put in my application for Ambulance New South Wales and I'm really excited to start working as a paramedic again and see what that's like living out of the van. I've also got a couple of Central Australia trips planned and yeah, just other things that I'm excited about. Largely to do with promoting things in Australia, including Australian artists, Australian people, th people doing things a little bit differently. And yeah, I hope you're all excited to see that as well. And that is it for my first video of 2021. As I said, I wanted to keep it super simple. Sorry we spent pretty much the whole time in the van, but I wanted to just get this one out of the way because after a couple of months, it's actually a bit daunting to get back in front of the camera. So I wanted to get this one out of the way so then I can move on and I've got plans for the next few videos that will definitely be getting me outside more and doing a bit more as well. Please, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, put a comment below. And I just wanted to mention that song at the start of the video, which is an absolute banger, is by my good friend Dusty Boot. Please check him out. He's an Australian artist. He's also a fellow van lifer, and I'm so addicted to listening to that song. So check it out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.